Hi, I'm Connie Albertson. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Art. And this is an installation that I've been working on for um, quite some time now. It's called Storyteller. And um, it's a narrative uh, ceramic piece that tells the life story of my mother. The piece is laid out in the form of a clock face. There are 12 pieces around the circle and one in the center where the hands of a clock would be. Each piece has a specific story um, attached to it, and they all tell a story about um, somebody who invented herself, essentially. She started off as a, an orphan in the Appalachians. She became the highest uh, civil servant, ranked civil servant, that you can get without a congressional appointment in the Small Business Administration. She loved to read, and one of her favorite things was to hide. Um, you know, in little places where people couldn't find her, and read. Um, and she described one day um, sitting in a tree, high in a tree with her book, and looking up, and looking up over the, um, the mountains, and thinking that there had to be a lot more. This is her wedding to my father, um, and it, it uh, utilizes a children's nursery rhyme. Um, that suggests good news, bad news. Uh, the marriage ended badly, um, but there, was, there, was, there were good things that, that happened as well. Being a mother was part of her, um, what she wanted to do in her life, and she was an, an amazing mother. Um, inside the piece, you can see, um, she used to say that um, a parent's job is to give it give children roots and wings, and so I use that imagery to, to talk about that. This is a period of, of my mother's life that was really tragic. Um, there, her marriage uh, disintegrated fairly, fairly violently, and um, we were impoverished. Um, food stamps, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, she was also uh, a practicing alcoholic that time and there were suicide attempts and um, it was a pretty pretty awful time in all of our lives. In the late 1960s, early 70s, my mother um, got sober, joined AA and, um, and immediately started focusing on helping other people uh, overcome alcoholism. After she got sober, my mother's life got better and better. Um, she was, um, she made some bold career moves and joined the uh, civil service as um, an employee of the Small Business Administration and became a very popular speaker, um, both in AA and um, in, in her professional life. And my brother and I started having children, which, um, which meant that something that she had always wanted was to be a grandmother. Uh, but it didn't, it wasn't really uh, working out so well. Her health began to decline, and uh, as well as her hearing and whatnot. And so she, she wasn't the kind of grandmother, didn't get to know her grandchildren quite as well as, as she would have wanted. The last stage of her life is, is also good news, bad news. She was, um, she was highly celebrated both in AA and in her professional life. Unfortunately, she was also suffering from a terrible back problem and around this time had an operation that while uh, technically successful, she also contracted a hospital illness uh, that um, eventually um, caused her death. Here we are back at the beginning uh, where um, where we have the, the possibilities in the bird's nest, but we also have the, the bird that is no longer um, alive. The centerpiece over here um, was actually the first piece that I made in this series. Um, it, she was in the hospital for roughly seven or eight weeks. All I could do was sit by the bed and draw or read. Um, and these, this came from drawings that I did mostly in the last couple of days of her life. 
and that was the image that um, stuck with me of someone who um, had in her heart this this enormous optimism about the future. Um, and, um, you know, now was, was dying. So this was the, the piece that kind of started my, my idea about what this installation would be.